tier four black tier four tier four black panther world first and i have very good news he is meta boys finally the devs got black panther right and made him very strong he's not perfect he definitely has some quirks to him which we'll talk about later in the video but he's very strong he hits super hard and i do believe he is going to be meta time will tell because we can't test him yet for abx and abl so truly if you want to know before you buy or before you upgrade you have to wait you're gonna have to wait at least a few days i believe when the next uh combat hero day rolls around because we've got combat villain right now and then you have to wait a couple more days for another combat villain um the earliest i think you could test him out is in three days where you have no requirements on extreme that is when people can test him so you're gonna have to wait about uh, two and a half days, three days, uh, because it takes a little bit of time for people to upload the videos and etc. But yeah, in about three days time, we'll know if he's better than Moon Knight for ABX and ABL. But from what I've seen, I think he will be better. And from what I've seen, I think he is better for World Boss Legend. However, we're not just doing a tier four review here. We're doing a level 70, level 80 review as well, because I have screenshots from what he was able to do. Now, the build I have now is a bit more spicy, but at the time that I did all these clears, I didn't have any Odin's Blessings. I have five now, but I had zero before, and you can verify that by checking out the live stream there. Uh, we had Overdrive instead of Power of Angry Hulk, but it's basically the same shit. No artifact, regular CTP of energy. So he is proc friendly. We'll talk more about that later. And it actually, it's only a 180 proc. I didn't even realize this throughout the entire showcase. Wow. So I was missing damage. He could have, it could have been a 200 proc. Holy crap. So that's a 180 proc there. Wow. That, and you might, you might think to yourself, 20% is not that much. 20% is a lot when you're at a high number like that. So yeah. And then uh, for his uniform options, they're not very good. That's the only thing. They're not, they're not terrible. They're not like mutant level, cable level, but they're not that great either. We have Cersei, Eternals, Dr. Octopus, No Way Home, Thena, Eternals, so back to back with the Eternal ladies, Mr. Sinister, Hellfire, and then Super Giant, Dark Obsidian. Not the best optionals, but honestly, not the worst. Now, let's get to the level 70 showcase here. I'm not going to be showcasing it with actual gameplay footage, but I am going to be showing you screenshots. He was able to do stage 64 of Null with a regular energy CTP, no Odin's Blessings, no Artifact, and with just a regular Insight on uh, Taskmaster, so no, like, you know, Giga Insight, Brilliant, m m Mighty, whatever. Uh, he was able to do it with 43 seconds left, and this wasn't even a very good run. I could have definitely added, uh, you know, 30 seconds to this run, so this could be done with more than a minute left. And then again, just regular Strikers, no Tier 4 Strikers, no no nonsense, no, no goofy stuff like that. Um, and we'll talk about why I think these runs could have been faster, spoiler alert. He's not the most proc friendly, or if he is proc friendly, um, he does definitely require uh, skill and, and practice like Cable. Not quite, maybe not as bad as Cable, but not too far off. Not too far off. Um, at level 80, so level level 60, level 70 was not bad at all. Not bad at all. I think you'll be pretty happy with him at level 70. He can be a little bit squishy defensively, definitely, um, but that's a theme throughout from tier three all the way up to tier four. So definitely not as tanky as Captain America or Hulk or Carnage or Wolverine, um, but certainly a little bit tankier than Moon Knight, in my opinion, um, for this kind of content. Uh, jumping from level 70 to 80 added a lot of time, as you can see here, added more than two minutes to his clear time for the same content, level 64, that's level 80. Uh, level 80, he was also able to do 45 of gore with more than 90 seconds left. This one blew me away because I believe it was Black Bolt on stage 34 of Gore that I was really impressed him doing at level 80. So, yeah, this is with an, an energy instead of a rage. I think Black Bolt had a rage at level 34, but this is nine stages higher. So 45 of Gore is no joke for a level 80 tier 3 to do. And again, he did it with time to spare. You can notice the HP is never quite full, which is, you know, a bit, a bit of a bad sign. But, man, the damage is out of this world, as you'll see, as you will see. Uh, he was also able to do stage 25 of gene with more with about a minute and a half left so it's possible he could go up to 29 of gene again tier 380 this is not tier 4 territory guys and then at tier 4 we did the following we did 49 of gore in 100 seconds this took a few retries to get the timing down but it he he blew he blew gore away let's just put it that way uh, and then uh, after a bunch of retries as well, I was able to do 34 of Gene with about 47 seconds left. 
this I think is pretty slow. I definitely think I could be maybe a minute faster if I hit my procs and things like that. But it is still the very first day of playing the character. And like I've said before and recently, I'm not the greatest MFF player. So I don't expect myself to really be held up to the standard of like, you know, the top there because of uh, my, my limited skill. Now, as far as the rotation goes, as far as the skills go, here's the thing with Black Panther. He has two cancelable skills, three and five but they're both a delayed cancel. If you cancel them immediately, so this is what the three looks like. He throws up the spear and then it rains down. If you cancel this immediately, it doesn't happen. No spear. If you cancel it when you see the purple, boom, you see the purple, you cancel it, you get the rain. So you have to delay the three. That's the first thing. Now with the five, it's basically the same. If you cancel five right away, this is what five looks like. He does a bunch of dashes. Five basically looks like a, a slower version and a, a, a smaller version of six. But if you cancel five right away, you don't get the slashes. But if you cancel five, um, just after you start it, you do get the slashes. So you just have to wait. There's just a br very brief waiting time. Very brief waiting time. You actually don't have to wait. He lunges. You actually don't have to wait for the lunge. You just to wait for him to kind of bend his knees. <laughs> it's kind of weird. But anyways, so the ideal rotation for Black Panther, you want to charge the tier three as fast as possible. So you're going to do one cancel, two cancel, three really fast. You're going to delay three until you see the purple. Then you're going to cancel into five. You're going to wait just a little bit. It's sort of something you need to just feel with timing. And then you're going to cancel that into four. Okay. Now I want to, I want to highlight how many hits he has because it's pretty nasty against one enemy. Just, just one, just one of these sad little Ultron robots is going to get the full might of the King of Wakanda. So check this out. We're going to do one cancel, two cancel, three five four so there it is this is the full combo look at this 113 hits one more time slight delay on five you really it's something you just need to practice and learn and feel but look at that shit 115 hits absolutely nuts may he may have the highest hit count of a three skill combo not including characters that have unlimited skills like Cable's old fifth, Cyclops old fifth, Wanda's old second skill, etc. Characters recently like Cable and Black Panther, I would say they're more along the lines of like a six or a seven out of 10 for proc friendliness. I already showed you what he can do with an energy. So what I wanna spend the rest of the video here now doing, I'm gonna unequip his energy and I wanna show you what he looks like with a mighty rage. We're gonna go all the way up here. But back on the stage 49 of Gore, I don't expect him to clear this one uh, as fast as before in the 100 second challenge. But at the same time, I do expect uh, him to be pretty fast. And let's take a look here. A lot of damage. That looks really nice. Wow. It honestly uh, doesn't seem much different from the tier three or from the energy. Sorry. Look at that, bro. That thing just his tier three just slaps, bro. His tier three does so much damage. He in some ways, I would say he feels like Captain America with less tankiness uh, where he has so much damage on his tier three that it's just out of this world. Now, he seems to have a bit of a hard time targeting Gore uh, when Gore lands from that uh, X attack. It's very strange. I don't know if this is a new thing, if this is just a Gore thing. This is a really easy rotation. For those of you that watched the stream and saw me kind of getting frustrated with uh, with Black Panther, this is a very easy rotation with uh, without having to proc. Like Once you switch to a Rage, you don't have to worry about proccing. I think Black Panther is super enjoyable to play. I do still think you can make it work with an energy or even an obelisk, and I think he'll perform very well. You know, not as proc friendly as Moon Knight, no, um, but certainly more proc friendly uh, than some others we've seen. Like, see here, I think his targeting just takes a really long time. Um, but one thing I do want to highlight, so one thing that's an issue is the defense. As you can see, he takes a lot of damage. 80,000 damage from one hit is a lot. And that is with, um, I believe it's 50% uh, defense from his um, from his passive. We're done here. Wow. That was really fast. So on the con side of things for Black Panther, I would say that the survivability is a little bit of a question mark. Um, but also the movement speed, it could be a little bit faster. He's a little slow. But on the plus side, he does have obviously insane damage. But I also think he has really great targeting. I'm really happy with his targeting. It's very, very strong, both on his regular rotation and also on his tier three rotation. He just he tracks the enemy so well. Um, it's very nice. Like you can see the third skill tracks, even though she dashed. 
the fifth skill tracks pretty nicely and the um the tier three really tracks super duper well uh, i interrupted just a little bit early but yeah he's doing so well wow i think we're gonna clear this my guess right now is we're gonna clear this easier and faster than we did with an energy wow i'm, I'm kind of floored um i didn't think he would perform this well with an energy i'm not gonna lie um, I think you might want to just give him a rage, guys. <laughs> Although, I think he is proc friendly, like, and I think he can work with, uh, an energy. I don't, why would you, right? This is just easier, and the damage is as good, possibly better. And especially if you have low pierce, um, rage is so good with low pierce. So, yeah, I don't know. This is just, this damage is crazy good. Wow, it's so, he's so strong. Uh, okay, I was trying not to get hit there. Okay. Uh, we're a little bit behind here. This is going to be a little awkward. We're losing a bunch of damage, but... She's going to trigger her next phase thing, so... We kind of just have to... Oh, if we had done enough damage? Oh my god. So, that was crazy. I think if you... I've tried that again, I could run it back. And if you do enough damage there, you basically skip the part where she goes into iframe at the end of 13 bars when she gets the invincibility so you get extra essentially you get extra time to damage her which shortens your clear time substantially now i wasn't that lucky but we're still gonna get an opportunity to dps her down here oh you know what i'm not going to i shouldn't have popped the tier three this is what i was trying to say like all that damage would have counted and she would have been way lower but uh instead we don't get all that because uh, I wasn't quite at the invincibility line. So, wow. Damn, this is going so well. This, <laughs> I, I hate to uh, I hate to poo-poo on um, Cable, but um, I am having such a good time here with Black Panther. Oof, I'm having such a good time here with Black Panther. This is really what I had hoped Cable would be. Like, super smooth, super easy to play, super high damage. You know, you can't have everything, so yeah, the survivability is a little bit sussy sometimes, but I'll take it, man. I'll take it. If the damage is this good and he's this easy to play, I'll take it. This is a really good clear time. Ah. Uh, wow. Two minutes left, and I could easily speed that up. That could have been two and a half minutes left. That maybe could have been three minutes left. That's so good, man. I think he's fantastic. He might actually be better with a rage than an energy. I'm actually so stunned. Because the this ener the rage just synergizes so well, uh, we, because he crits so much, so getting that increased critical damage that goes uh, over the limit, that 180 percent, that stacks on top of the 20 percent that he has, right? So he goes up to 220, right? Because I have the cap, I, I hit the cap of 200 crit damage, and then he goes up to 220, and then when the rage proxy goes up to 400 percent, and because he has, uh, I have 75% crit rate, and then he has another 50% uh, guaranteed crit rate, he's always critting. And he hits so hard that you're just, the crits go nuts. So, yeah, he might actually be, despite the fact that he's proc friendly, um, and despite the fact that energy has much more synergy with Pierce than Rage, Black Panther might be Rage first, just because of how insane his crits are. Wow. But there might be a big difference between a regular rage and a mighty rage. Let me make that clear. So, although I'm saying mighty rage is better than energy, I'm not saying that regular rage is better than energy because regular rage doesn't have that enrage proc, right? It doesn't have that yellow text that increases your crit damage above the cap. And increasing your crit damage above the cap when you're critting a lot is what is giving him such high damage numbers. So, if that doesn't make sense, I can do a follow-up video explaining it in more detail, but that's kind of my take for now. I'm really happy with the character, so I'm just going to go and play him some more. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the donos who enabled this tonight, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.